Well, welcome again to one of my podcasts, and uh, uh, this is the second time I started it this morning. I uh, I forgot to change my screens for today, and I had to stop and delete the video and start all over again. Well, today is uh, January twelfth, and uh, I'm I live in the state of Minnesota, and. Uh, Normally for Minnesota, January weather is usually sub-zero and very cold out. Uh, we get uh, fairly cold winters here in Minnesota, but uh, today is going to be kind of unusual. Uh, it's actually going to get above freezing. It's going to get, we got a high of 33 degrees today. That's almost like a spring day in Minnesota in January. Uh, I'm so used to having very cold Januarys where you don't even want to walk outside. <clears throat> now, I live uh, right on the Mississippi River. If I look out my front window, I'm looking at the the uh, Mississippi River. I'm very fortunate. i got a beautiful view. Uh, and there's only a few times that I've seen where it actually froze over. It has to get down to about 22 below or colder and you see the steam pouring off the river and and it freezes when it hits the trees and everything is white full of frost and it's, it's like a beautiful winter wonderland and uh, it is beautiful really and uh, but you don't dare walk on the water uh, or on the river because there's water running underneath it it has to get pretty cold for a long time. And the reason I'm telling you about this is that uh, my uh, my wallpaper today, I'm just going to show it to you. This is the Hudson River, and uh, there's a, uh, a club up there that uh, sells about, even today the, the club is going, and uh, uh, this was taken a few years back, but... Uh, it really looks like a lot of fun. That's something I've never tried, but I sure would have liked to try it. Uh, I know that uh, I've tried, you know, little sailboats and stuff, but I've never tried to do this on ice, and it really looks like it'd be fun. Cold, but fun. So that's why I mentioned that. Uh, I just thought uh, that would be a, a something fun to try. Well, for the last couple times that we got together, we were talking about the resurrection. We were talking about, we read that scripture in John on the resurrection of Lazarus and the Lord raising him from the dead. Well, today we're going to go down a different road, and we're going to actually do it a little different way, too. Uh, our subject today is the Romans Road. And uh, something very unusual, uh, let me just do some switching here. I got to uh, minimize this and make this bigger. Uh, I'm going to play a, uh, a video for you. I was, when I originally started setting up this uh, podcast, I had uh, marked down a few uh, verses that I was going to go through, which is called the Romans Road. Now, I know that uh, probably a lot of you out here has, have heard of the Roman Road, but I don't know how many young people have uh, heard of it. So I thought I would do this. this. What we're doing today is actually, it's a good tool if you are talking to somebody about the gospel and the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ and how he died for us just to take them for a walk and take them for a walk down the Romans Road. And what the Romans Road is, is scripture uh, in the book of Romans. Most of it's in Romans. Uh, and you can just walk them right through these scriptures. And instead of me trying to explain it to you, I'm going to play this video. This video is just about four minutes long. So it's not a real long video. So uh, I'm going to switch screens and I'm going to play it. We are being censored. 
America's news outlets no longer provide the oh, truth. It's a commercial. Joshua Phil okay, here we are. What is the Romans' road to salvation? The Romans' road to salvation is a way of explaining the good news of salvation using verses from the book of Romans. It is a simple yet powerful method of explaining why we need salvation, how God provided salvation, how we can receive salvation, and what are the results of salvation. The first verse on the Romans' road to salvation is Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We have all sinned. We have all done things that are displeasing to God. There is no one who is innocent. Romans 3.10-18 gives a detailed picture of what sin looks like in our lives. The second scripture on the Romans' road to salvation, Romans 6.23, teaches us about the consequences of sin. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. The punishment that we have earned for our sins is death, not just physical death, but eternal death. The third stop on the Romans' road to salvation picks up where Romans 6.23 left off. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 5.8 declares, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus Christ died for us. Jesus' death paid for the price of our sins. Jesus' resurrection proves that God accepted Jesus' death as the payment for our sins. The fourth stop on the Romans' road to salvation is Romans 10.9. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Because of Jesus' death on our behalf, all we have to do is believe in him, trusting his death as the payment for our sins, and we will be saved. Romans 10.13 says it again, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Jesus died to pay the penalty for our sins and rescue us from eternal death. Salvation, the forgiveness of sins, is available to anyone who will trust in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. The final aspect of the Romans' road to salvation is the result of salvation. Romans 5.1 has this wonderful message. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ, we can now have a relationship of peace with God. Romans 8.1 teaches us, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Because of Jesus' death on our behalf, we will never be condemned for our sins. Finally, we have this precious promise of God from Romans 8, 38 through 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Would you like to follow the Romans' road to salvation? If so, here is a simple prayer that you can pray to God. Saying this prayer is a way to declare to God that you are relying on Jesus Christ for your salvation. The words themselves will not save you. Only faith in Jesus Christ will provide salvation. God, I know that I have sinned against you and am deserving of punishment. But Jesus Christ took the punishment that I deserve, so through that faith in him I could be forgiven. With your help, I place my trust in you for salvation. Thank you for your wonderful grace and forgiveness, the gift of eternal life. Amen. Got questions? The Bible has answers, and we'll help you find them. Okay, we're going to stop it right there. And uh, while I got this up on the screen, I don't know if you've ever used Got Questions or not, but it's a wonderful website. This is on YouTube, a lot of their videos that they have. If you just go to... Uh, either gotquestions.org or just go on a Google search and search uh, for Romans Road. Uh, it, it, it'll direct you to this site. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, share this with you. It's a good tool. And one thing you could do is you can put it on your phone. Everybody's got smartphones these days. Uh, you could put it on your phone and when you're talking to somebody you could set the video to play and hand them your phone and say, listen to this. If you don't feel comfortable uh, trying to explain it to somebody, uh, it's just a good tool. And, uh, you know, uh, salvation is a wonderful thing. We have this great gift from God, and this gift 
is a gift that keeps on giving. And we could continue giving it to others. So my advice to you today is if you are a true believer in Jesus Christ, share your faith. Share your faith with others. Share the good news that Jesus Christ loves them and died at Calvary for them. And take them for that walk down Romans Road. Well, with that said, why don't we just close in prayer and uh, may the Lord bless your day. Lord, again, we just thank you that uh, we can look at things like uh, the Romans Road and <clears throat> somebody has thought this out and uh, it's kind of a step-by-step. -step. Uh, we have to realize that we're sinners and that uh, we need a Savior. And every one of us are in a fallen state. There's no one right or righteous. There's no one that does good. We all fall short of the glory of God. Uh, and it tells us uh, there's bitterness in our mouths and, and uh, the poison of asp. And uh, there's just no good in us, Lord. And we need to be changed. Uh, we need a changed heart. Like the Lord said, I will take your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Uh, and I will put my laws in your in your heart and in your mind. And we will walk in the statutes of the Lord. And uh, it, we need changing, Lord. We need that rebirth, that being born again. And so many times, Lord, uh, we fail you. And uh, even as Christians, but we know that if we come to you and confess our sins, that you are just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that you are our advocate with the Father. You're ever before the, the Father, pleading our case like a lawyer. Lord, we just thank you so much uh, for all that you do for us and all that you have done for us. And that all that you'll continue to do for us. Uh, giving us new bodies and bringing us into glory someday. Lord, we have such a blessed hope and view. You are such a good God and wonderful Savior. And I just pray that if anybody out here that uh, might have run across this uh, podcast that uh, doesn't know you, Lord, that they truly pray that prayer uh, and ask for forgiveness uh, and realize that they need a Savior. Oh, Lord, we praise you today and give you thanks. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video uh, that I shared with you on the Romans Road. And uh, there are many other good tools out there, so you need to look. And uh, just remember, keep your Bible open because God wants to speak with you. And uh, he will. He'll definitely talk to you. So with that said, let's... Have a great day, and i got to take my wife shopping today, so I'll probably have a busy day today, So, and I hope uh, you have a great day, too. Bye, bye for now. <laughs>